Hello everyone, my name is Martin and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial in which I am going to show you how to create deep brown skin tones in Photoshop. The image was taken by Rick, so if you like this image, make sure you will check more of his photography and we are going to start working. So many people think you could do it in Photoshop with adjustment layer and probably you can do it. But for me, the easiest way to work on the skin tones is working with the camera roll. So this image is edit, and as you can see, I did not do anything with the colors yet. And I am going to create a stamp on the top. To do this, you press Command, Option, Shift and E. Or if you work with Windows, that will be Control, Alt, Shift and E. And then on the top, I'm going to get this layer, which I'm going to name Skin Tones. And I am going to convert this to smart object because I want to work non-destructively. So I'm pressing control, hit right, and convert this to smart object. So thanks to this, uh, when we are going to work with camera, it will be applied non-destructively as the filter. Once it's converted, I'm going to filter and camera raw filter. So there is not a big secret. I'm going to skip this basic panel first and I'm going to hue saturation luminance, which is crucial for trying to achieve the best possible skin tones. And mostly doing with saturation and luminance, you can actually make it a little bit deeper and a little bit more brown. For example, by decreasing the light from the oranges, as you can see, you simply taking this down and you need to get it just a little bit to the point it won't be destructive. So if you want deeper skin tone, you don't go more than minus 10. And then also desaturate this a little bit, maybe around the same. And as you can see, I got way darker, a little bit calmer skin tones. We lost some of the contrast because of doing this. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase a little bit of contrast and I might increase a little bit of the highlights here. So after that, I might also decrease a little bit more contrast of it if I want. And this is that simple step. Of course, then we can do a little bit more because you can manipulate with the hue uh, to find your best uh, skin tone. Uh, with this one, I'm rather happy with what I got. And then you can also work with this calibration panel where you can add or take down saturation from each color channel, from each color light channel would be probably uh, more precise. So I was working on this slightly desaturated effect. So I'm going to take down a little bit of the saturation from each of these, and then I'm going to hit okay. So something very simple before and after the image a little bit more desaturated. Um, of course, uh, every image is different and every skin tones are different. But when it comes to trying to achieve brown skin tones, my advice is go to camera raw and work with the saturation, luminance, sometimes hue, but mainly saturation and luminance around the skin tones. So that will be oranges, sometimes, ye sometimes yellows, and maybe a little bit of reds. Thank you for watching and please, if you like what I do, check my other videos and I want to invite you to my website. I am a professional retoucher, so if you like my work, maybe you like images that I retouch. For those who are interested, I also offer some extra resources. So for people who want some Lightroom presets, for people who want some uh, LUTs, color LUTs, which I constantly use for my retouching work. Well, why not to buy them? But most important, check out my work, let me know what you think and comment below if you like this video. It really motivates me to do something more and I will be happy to hear any advices you have and maybe something you want to see in the future. Thank you.